This is Greg Benchwick from the International Fund for Agricultural Development. I'm here with Leela Downs. Leela is a singer, an activist, uh, and as I understand it, an, an occasional agitator. Um, Leela, <laughs> in, in, in Latin America, uh, you know, one of, a lot of your songs are about indigenous peoples. And in Latin America, um, indigenous people are often the most, the poorest and the most marginalized. Um, I've seen it when I've gone to IFAD funded projects in places like Guatemala, Peru, Bolivia, and Ecuador. Um, what are the true challenges you see facing these groups? And how can organizations like the, uh, IFAD work to uh, empower them to overcome poverty? Well, I guess that um, uh, each uh, individual uh, has has a concept of of themselves, and I think that um, in what we would call Western society, I think we we kind of um, include the people who ascribe to our way of thinking, and uh, sometimes there are cultures in Native America, not only, of course, in other places of the world as well that have indigenous populations um, that still have a very uh, different concept of, of existence, first of all, and, um, and, and therefore have uh, uh, just as much a legitimate uh, reason to be here and to say and to have opinions. And, and I guess for me, um, I have seen how how the, those differences have uh, come to create, um, you know, oceans of of um, of misunderstandings amongst uh, people, and and the belief that we are somehow caught in the past or um, in in some way not a progressive society. Or societies, I should say, and and I think it's quite the opposite. I think that we in West in the West we can learn so much from traditional societies that um, still have a very uh, beautiful uh, connection to their oral history, and uh, of course sometimes in migrant communities uh, these this history and this knowledge has been lost. But in some way, there is always a connection to that, um, to that, you know, enriching side of life. And it's something that in our music, we try to somehow touch base with a bit and remember, remember how really all of humanity has come from some legend and some story that roots us to the earth. And I think, um, this is the wisdom of the campesino, of the farmer, of the, of the people who are close to the land, and we have much to learn from them. That's interesting when you talk about that. Um, I remember from your album, Tree of Life, uh, some connections uh, going on with that, and I, I've seen a lot of emphasis in some of the projects that I've visited on documenting, protecting, and validating at-risk cultures, like you're talking about. Um, when I was in Bolivia, they're making a, a radio novela uh, uh, that is trying to validate Afro-Bolivian culture. Uh, is, is this really a mechanism to to? to end poverty and to, and to empower poor rural people? Exactly, exactly. I think that is kind of the first step that people must take because um, still today I, I run into people in in Mexico, for example, that or in la all of Latin America that still have this kind of myth in their mind that that Indians are somehow an um, element of the past and that are somehow n non-existent today. <laughs> and, and so it's, it's kind of, um, I think, um, either in the schools it, it wasn't being taught 
so, the, so certain generations, I think now there are more things being taught about our history and about our presence today or uh, Native life today and Native thought or African American thought, of course. Um, and, and I think that, yes, of course, popular and artistic, all kinds of endeavors make, make it, you know, visible and legitimate, as you say. Um, but I also do see that in, in, uh, youth culture and, uh, you know, that there are more, uh, beautiful relationships between people and less racism than there was in my generation, for example. So, Mm-hmm. So there are a lot of positive things that are happening, I think, that that uh, can help the mm-hmm. change in attitude. Mm-hmm. Hey, Lila, we live in a violent world, um, and and uh, Latin America has, has become one of the most violent corners uh, of, of the entire planet. There's violence against women, violence against indigenous people, violence against the earth. Um, how can we use uh, uh, development and how can we use music to, to, to uh, stem this violence? Entre las nubes del cielo hay un lugar escondido Es el valor de mi gente Es el valor que he perdido Oh, that's a good question. I wish that <laughs> that somehow, as as children, we all really participated more in musical ways and in artistic ways, because then maybe we could get a lot of this violence out of our system. I think it's just energy that that's conduced in in a in a negative way, and. Um, I also think we have to look at our historical consequences in Latin America of uh, countries and societies that have been abused by political leaders, um, elements from our society that have been in charge of the judicial system, uh, especially here in Mexico, we're dealing with, with these issues. and. Uh, and it's a very, uh, very disheartening and very uh, sad. At the same time, our I think our our society is also very concerned about this, uh, you know, backlash kind of uh, uh, response to I think a colonial situation. And mm-hmm. and. Um, I think it's similar to what maybe happened during the Mexican Revolution, where it was kind of chaotic. There are a lot of people who are out of a job, a lot of campesinos, in fact, who, who hardly make any money to survive uh, cultivating their tomatoes. And, and uh, there was a protest here in Mexico where the farmers came and, and gave away their crops because they said that it wasn't even uh, worth it to sell it because it was worth nothing at all. And this was a kind of a peaceful protest uh, about what is going on, I imagine, in the world at mm-hmm. this level. Um, and I think it's very, very related to to the earth and to, to the people's relationship to the earth. We are forgetting the importance of that relationship and the crops that nurture us every day and give us food for our brain power uh, so that we can work on our computers, you know, and, and we, tend to, we tend to forget those relationships. I'm trying to write songs that speak a little bit about these things and uh, maybe not so explicitly, uh, but this album that we are going to, that we're working on right now, actually we're recording in the studio, uh, it talks about about um, some characters from the underworld and who have died because of the violence and mm-hmm. who are saying, well, now now I am not there anymore. I can't uh, enjoy life. And uh, I made a lot of money, <laughs> but I can no longer enjoy the beauty of, of the earth and of mm-hmm. the light and the sun and the stars. So... 
I think it really does come down to to this to this sad reality, and it's it's a problem in in our society that we must deal with. And uh, in our music, I hope that I reflect it in, mm -hmm. in a in a sentimental way, as we say in Latin America, so that we can somehow cry for our people because. I think that's what we need to do. Hmm. I have a question for you uh, about Mexico. I know, uh, I believe you were born in the state of Oaxaca, is that correct? Yes. Uh, you know, we, we just launched a, a community forestry project in, in Oaxaca, Campeche, and Chiapas. Um, what it, you know, and it's dealing yes. with indigenous people and creating these uh, ways for indigenous peoples uh, in the region to uh, sustainably manage their forests and make a living. What lessons would you try to uh, uh, share with the, the project people that will be launching this project that they, they should take in, in, into account as they go about uh, building the project? I, I have great admiration for these, for uh, organizations. The one you mentioned, uh, I'm, I'm so happy when I hear about all the positive, um, uh, you know, uh, community type organizations that are successful in, in Oaxaca. And uh, I think a, a great part of this is, is this kind of spiritual force that that pushes us to, to feel like we are doing this for a greater cause than our set than our only for ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I think um, it's such a beautiful philosophy, and it really is kind of you know sometimes confused with the Marxist you know Leninist people that come and <laughs> get involved in in the social movements and. Uh, and yet it, it survives in spite of all of this. And, um, and so I, I would have to say, you know, congratulations to my paisanos for doing this because mm -hmm. I always learn from my people and I'm always, you know, humbled by the experience of, of feeling as I am, am one of, of them. And, uh, and it's really a, a wonderful lesson. I wish somehow we could you know, uh, have the world know more about the success of, of these community, uh, um, you know, uh, successes. Hay en la noche un grito y se escucha lejano Cuentan al sur, es la voz del silencio 